back to 504 Road Trips. In today's video, we're traveling up St. Bernard Highway, beginning at the most downriver edge of St. Bernard Parish, near the junction of Louisiana Highways 46 and 39, in the census-designated place of Poydras, Louisiana. Poydras had a population of 3,886 as of the 2000 census. Poitras was first settled in the 18th century by Isleños, natives of the Canary Islands, when Louisiana was a Spanish colony. Presumably, the town is named for Julian Poitras, a French-American political leader who served as a delegate from the territory of Orleans to the U.S. House of Representatives. We entered the census designated place of Violet, which had a population of 8,555 as of the 2000 census. The area now known as Violet was originally part of the Livide Plantation. Violet sprang up after the development of the Violet Canal. It was named by canal booster Albert Covington Janine after his lovely wife Violet Blair Janine a Washington, D.C. socialite and part of the influential Blair family for whom the Blair House across from the White House in Washington, D.C. is named. Albert Janine spent his youth in St. Bernard Parish in the large Janine family home. His father, Louis Janine Sr., a prominent lawyer who had immigrated from France to New Orleans in 1828, sent his sons to Europe for their education, including Albert. Albert was a partner with his father's law firm, including the office in Washington, D.C., where he remained after marrying into the Blair family. Along most of this route, the Norfolk Southern Railroad tracks run just to our left, as well as the Mississippi River, which is about 100 yards to the left. We enter the census-designated place of Miro with a population of 10,192 at the 2000 census. Miro is named for Dr. Louis Miro, who was once sheriff and tax collector of St. Bernard Parish and the doctor too, evidently. The area on either side of this picturesque tunnel of trees is known as Dockville Farm 
once owned by Doc Miro. We passed through an oil refinery active since the 1920s. The refinery was previously owned by Murphy Oil from 1961 to 2011 when it was purchased by Valero. The Miro Valero refinery has a Nelson complexity index of 10.2, whatever that means. The refinery received a Safety Achievement Award in 2017 from American Fuel and Petrochemical Manufacturers, one of four Valero refineries with no recordable employee safety incidents in 2016. We reached the census-designated place of Chalmette, which is the parish seat of St. Bernard Parish. Chalmette had a population of 16,751 as of the 2010 census, way down from 32,069 in 2000. At just three feet above sea level, Chalmette was hit especially hard by flooding during Hurricane Katrina in 2005, but the population is slowly recovering.
Here at Paris Road, a left turn takes you to the Chalmette to Lower Algiers Ferry across the Mississippi River, and a right turn takes you north along LA 47 to US Highway 90, I-10, and eventually Lake Pontchartrain. On the median ahead are the ruins of the Deleron Plantation. Ahead on the left, a large smokestack is visible. The stack once had neon letters down each side of it that read Kaiser for the Kaiser Aluminum and Chemical Plant that was the backbone of St. Bernard Parish's economy from 1951 to the early 1980s. In 1989, the plant was purchased by the St. Bernard Parish Port, Harbor, and Terminal District. Since the 1980s, the site has been used to store grain, discarded automobile tires, and other materials. The smokestack, one of the tallest structures in the state in the 1950s, still stands as a symbol of St. Bernard's bygone industrial might. Along the left side of the road, between the highway and the Mississippi River, is the Shalmet Battlefield and National Cemetery. The battlefield is a unit of the Jean Lafitte National Historical Park and Preserve. This is the location where the Battle of New Orleans was fought in 1815. The National Cemetery was established after the American Civil War and holds the remains of American Civil War casualties and veterans, as well as remains of soldiers from the Indian Wars of the late 19th century, the Spanish-American War, the First and Second World Wars, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. We enter the census designated place of Araby, which had a population of 8,093 as of the 2000 census. Araby was established in the 19th century as a suburb of New Orleans and was part of Orleans Parish. Araby began as a community known as Stockyard Landing because of many stockyards and slaughterhouses located there. In the backyards of some of the houses in Old Araby, there are remnants of blood traps from the area. When excavation for swimming pools was done, residents found dishes from New Orleans hotels and restaurants whose table scraps were once used to feed animals. Business interests of the stockyards wanted to be free from control of New Orleans and persuaded the state of Louisiana to transfer dominion of the area downriver to St. Bernard Parish. The area was apparently named after the residents of the area who burned the courthouse down in the 1890s, reputedly because the incendiary activities of an Arabian sheik were at that time much in the news. Our video concludes as we enter Orleans Parish to be continued in road trip number 276. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon if you'd like to be notified when new videos come out. 
share, and follow us on social media and join us for our next 504 road trip.